I'm 34 years old now and my body feels terrible. And it's not because I'm 34. It's because of the challenge we did the other day with the thousand tails. So if you guys haven't watched that one, please watch it. I'm never doing that again. Being 34, you think about a lot of things. You think about the future. You think about what tricks you want to learn. And think about how long you got on the earth. Think about a family. And I've thought about a family. I'm not planning to have kids anytime soon. But if one day, when it happens, if I were to have a son or a daughter, this would be the scooter for them. I built a mini scooter in complete replica of what I ride. It has a union bars, TPR grips, SES. It has a one of a kind Prodigy deck that was cut. It has a little holographic kick to it. I don't know if you can see it. They're basically the same color as my old signature deck. And this scooter is built with pegs in the front, of course. Always put pegs in your scooter. And this scooter was built to have fun for myself, but then also to keep in good condition for eventually when there's a mini version of me in the future. And if I had a daughter, this would be for her. See if there's any little people at the skate park that wants to try this out. Obviously, I'm not trying to give it away. This is for me, but if you want to try it, they can. We're at Apex Skate Park right now, and there's a few tricks that I want to learn today, so let's get a nice session. I'm gonna do my best to not beat this thing up. I don't want it scratched, I don't want anything to happen to it. It's going to be for my child, child's children, kid, son, daughter, whatever. I'm saving it for if there's a chance in the future. I feel like mini scoots were a thing back in the day on YouTube. Everybody made them, everybody tried to make them as small as possible. And I did too, that's why I have it. I do like two or three tricks on this and then there's one thing I really wanna do on my regular scooter that I don't know if my arm is recovered enough for it, but we'll, we'll try. I didn't tighten the clamp. All right, five tricks. Four tricks that I want to just warm up with and one, hopefully, one that I'm very proud of. I want to see how many tricks I can do out of a peg wheelie. I did finger whip, I did double whip, and I want to do heel whip. Oh, come on. God. Why are tricks so hard out of a peg wheelie? I know why, because you can't kick the deck. Come on. This is impossible. And it's just a heel whip. Peg wheelie. So many tricks that I want to do out of a peg wheelie. Heel whip was one, double tail whip was one, finger whip was one, bri flip is definitely one. And give me some ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Three, two, one.